Hi, it's Nick Hayton again. Another update on quantum computing. And I want to uh, take a time to think about my view here, the sea. And we all know what water is. We learned at school. It's uh, two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of, of oxygen, H2O. And, but that's tiny, 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 tiny subatomic particles. Um, and there's an enormous amount of water and it's influenced by lots of different things, of course. Um, our tidal patterns and um, dictate the, dictated by the moon and, you know, the, 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 the waves happen based on different events in terms of storms and air pressure. Uh, we have participation was, uh, which forms our clouds, so the, the, the water evaporates and we get our cloud cover. So, so what I'm saying here is that these subatomic particles um, are susceptible to, to, to the environment, to, to lots of different things. And one of the fundamentals of quantum computing, unfortunately, is, is that we think we know what's going on at the subatomic level, but under the rules that we're faced with, um, by the sheer fact of observing what's going on, we can interrupt what's really happening with these subatomic particles because they form a relationship with each other. And in the same way, hydrogen and oxygen forms a relationship and these relationships are the things that, in a coherent sense, they develop there or lays the conditions for these, uh, this ability to compute uh, significant amounts of uh, problems, information, data, what have you. So, so there's the challenge, really. These small, small subatomic particles um, have to be protected, they have to be encased. And even just simple things like gravity, which affects all of us, actually, and we don't really feel it. We'll talk about spin in the next one. We don't really feel it, but um, you know, these subatomic particles um, are susceptible to all kinds of inf interference, heat, noise, gravity itself, and so on. So that adds another layer of complexity to, to the development of this, uh, this new technology. And uh, I just thought it'd be helpful to put a bit of context into the subatomic world. Talk to you next time. Bye for now.